Hello everyone and welcome back to Clark Sports Cards. Let's rip a little bit more football, mainly select. That's the new thing that just come out. And before you, before everybody, you see that I've got a mega box and two blasters. So we're going to go after the main question that everybody's probably wondering, is the mega box and select worth it? The price of the mega box is roughly 60 bucks. I think sometimes you can get them at 55 at Walmart, I think, but actually Target's a little bit more expensive, I think, at 60. And then, of course, the blasters are 30 at Target and 35 at Walmart. So it's kind of like a little flip-flop, right? So at Target, you can get the price of two blasters for one mega, almost identical, right? Is it better to get two blasters or one mega? That's what we're going to tackle today. I will start off by saying that basically you get more cards in the blasters. As you see, you get 24 cards per blaster, which is typical. You see a Panini Prism, Optic, and all that, Select. Mosaic, no different. 24 cards. The Mega Box has only 42 cards. So you're slight, basically, um, one pack, right? 48, well, actually, you're actually slight six cards, right? So a little bit, a little bit less than a, a little bit more than a pack. So the price per card is going to vary a little bit on that but is it worth to get the mega box and what's guaranteed in the mega box versus what's guaranteed in the blaster we'll look at that a little bit so let's take one of the blasters out of the picture a little bit let's rip up into some product and compare a little bit as far as odds i think that we're going to find on the very back of both of them let's get in open the mega box first and then the blaster over here <coughs> there we go all right oh there's some more more on that one all right so let's get down to the backs first of all as you can see you can freeze frame it we'll tap the screen here see if we can get a zoom in a little bit better there we go as you can see it has the same format you're going to see down here that a lot of the uh, signatures the number cards and everything like that the zebra die cuts all that stuff that's off that you can get in the blaster you can also that's a bigger print in the mega box there's not much difference between the two on the back. Uh, the same numbers, the same writings and everything like that. Um, so basically you're looking at the difference is what you offer in the thing. It says look for autographs or some of the hottest stars in select series. Uh, look for the ultra rare uh, zebra prism die cuts, right? But what's special about the Mega Box? The Mega Box has 10 exclusive black and green prism die cuts, right? Whereas your blaster, um, you find three exclusive green and yellow prism die cuts. So you get more die cuts in the Mega Box. But other than that, that's it. That's the only thing else that's offered. Um, so you're paying, paying for the same odds, less cards, just a little bit more parallels. So is it worth it? We'll find out. Let's compare the two. Let's open two blasters and then one Mega Box. We'll save the Mega Box to last. <coughs> and we'll start with the blasters. We'll start off with blaster number one. We'll kind of keep the cards separate a little bit and put the hits off to the side and see what we can come up with. I will tell you that the blasters, I don't know about the mega box, but the blasters are, that's, that feels thick. We'll save that in the last. Um, the blasters, on average, per case, it says you're going to have 10 numbered cards. So basically, one out of every two blasters, you're going to get a number card. Uh, auto, what's guaranteed also in a case of blasters is 20, excuse me, is I think it's four mems or autos. So basically one out of every four blasters, you're going to get, or no, there'd be more than that. It'd be one out of every five blasters. You're going to get an auto or a mem card in it. So that's what's guaranteed plus all the inserts. It doesn't say anything about what's guaranteed as far as like an SP, a diamond cut or a zebra or some type of animal print or anything like that so um we'll kind of look at it and see if we get anything out of these these little two things small sample size but we're going to kind of keep some of the bigger hits there's Devonte adams die cut k dotton and amon st brown so rookies and die cut we'll kind of keep separate and some of the bigger hits we'll put them out front and compare the two see what we got uh dak there Devin lloyd and we got something on the bottom of that card i don't know okay that's just paper uh devin lloyd rookie there's a cmc from in there i thought it was brock pretty and charles cross so 
should have a die cut in that pack. And select, to me, this year is almost like Chronicles, it seems like. Just a little bit high-end Chronicles. And Gabriel is, Gabriel Davis is our insert there. There's a Patty Mahomes, a nice kind of little card there. Gabe Davis right there. This is your standard parallels, not numbered. We'll sit right over there. Kyler Murray and Tyler Lockett. So we got no, I don't think we got a rookie out of that pack. Silver die cut in this. There's a David Bell, rookie. Tom Brady, nice little Tom Brady there. Nice Kenneth Walker. That's not bad. It's probably our best pull so far. And Malcolm Rodriguez, and that's a silver. It looks like die cut, not numbered club level. So the highest level you can get in retail. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here. Some more die cut action here. Evan Neal, Roger McCreary. And a rookie of Tyler Limbrum, I guess it is. That's how you say his name. Arnold as well. No, that's not. Yes, yeah, rookie. And the last one, this feels like this. It's got to be thicker. It's got to be a mem in this or something. This feels a lot thicker. Got a little Herbie right on the front there. We'll go from the back. Uh, A.J. Dillon. And who we got here? Turbocharged Debo Samuels. I'm not a fan of those cards. I don't like the looks of them. Kirby, let's see what we got. Is this going to save the box a little bit, maybe? Maybe it's numbered. RSW, Adrian Hutch. Rookie Swatch, Adrian Hutch, rookie card line. So that's probably one of our bigger hits right there. So wasn't too great. First, got us some decent vets. Our die cuts right there is kind of uh, nothing rookie that we wanted. So let's get into the blaster number two. Then we'll open up the mega box and see if the mega box is going to actually, like I said, it's a small sample size, so anything can happen. Would appreciate though if the bottom of it, while we're ripping these packs, you don't mind clicking that little subscribe button at the bottom down there. It don't cost you a dime. And trying to gain some views here on the channel as well. Getting up to a thousand count, and we're getting there. Already got a duplicate in Jamar Chase. Another K dot, and this is almost the same pack. Ooh, except we got a Desmond Ritter right there that's a nice one nice desmond ritter there and malcolm mumphrey right there so we'll put the ritter up there so that's probably the hit of the i think that's better than the uh rookie swatch right there if you have to ask me dak Devin lloyd who is it sky Moore, rookie and aj brown insert and that's your silver so rookies go there a rookie go there and dak I would definitely say that Ritter's probably our best pull so far. But, still got a few packs to go. Tyler Lockett, Kyler Murray, and Austin Eckler, and Mac Jones. No rookies in that. That's your standard parallel club level. So we waste our club level on a non-rookie <coughs> die cut. So, well, maybe we can get something else. It seems like it's got more cards in it, but it doesn't. Four. It's on the sky. Yep. Okay. Dave Bell. Another Tom Brady. Looks like a Jalen Waddle and Devin Bush. For some reason, that card seems thicker, but it's not. Ricky, Tom Brady. Goes there. Jalen Waddle, Futures, and then a Ricky there. All right. Two more packs to go in Blaster number two. So far, it looks like an easy victory for the Mega Box. All I gotta do is beat a Desmond Ritter right there, Roger McCreary again, Evan Neal, uh, Thornton, and the Joku. So, nothing too impressive out there as far as rookies. Last pack of Blaster 2. We can go out on a bang here. Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers, turbocharged, Jonathan Taylor, and Kenny Pickett. Well, that's. And it ain't much to go on here. Um, I mean, I don't think we definitely got $60 worth of value in cards back, but we did get a couple nice ones there. We'll put these off to the side. Actually, we're going to put the die cuts in those over here. We'll just put the base over there. But that's our probably our four hits right there, and that's pretty sad out of 60 bucks. But, I mean, got a couple good ones there. Uh, Adrian Hutch, Swatch, Desmond Ritter's nice here, and then the Kenny Pickett. 
right there just base concourse we'll set that in the back and then we'll go for the mega box see if the mega box can beat it i think it can um, i was actually pulling for the blasters to be honest with you i was hoping the blasters would shoot it out of the ballpark but you know we'll see we'll see what this mega box has to offer and there's our what's it yep six cards or six packs seven cards per pack it says so all right, let's get at it. See what we got as far as Mega Box. Both of them cost the same, just depending on what parallels you like and which ones look good. And we're already starting off with a Desmond Ritter right there. So that's a good start. That goes up to the top. Thornton, let me get the packs out of the way. Thornton, Ricky Waller, and a rookie of Jake Ferguson. That looks pretty cool looking. That's our parallel. Prism Concourse. It's a nice one there. Jake Ferguson looks pretty. Anyway, Boyd Maffey, rookie card. Damian Pierce and Russell Wilson. Next pack. That was a pretty good little pack right there. Got a nice Ritter in it. Pack one. If we can get one hit per pack, that'd be great. And the Kobe Dean. Rookie there. Kyle Pitts. And T Law. And Armand St. Brown is our parallel. And who we got behind it? Dante Foreman. So, neither one of them are rookies. Neither one of them are numbered. That's your standard colored parallels. We'll put them over here in our die cuts. And then we got a nice Brian Robinson Jr. right there. And a Mike White. That's the first I've seen him for the Jets in any type of product. Mike White. Okay. Whatever. Here we go. Next pack. Tua. Lewis King there. There's a Sam Howe base. That's nice. We'll take it up there. Uh, we do got a kicker parallel right there. Danny Gray. Missed that Brock Purdy. Kyle Pitts features and Kirby Joseph right there. And we got it here. That's Tua. So. All right. It seems like it's pretty much a stalemate right now. Old Sam Darnold. Jeremiah Johnson. Gino. And our parallels are Lamb Jack. That's not bad. And Zamir White. I'm actually going to put Lamb Jack up there. Zamir White, rookie. That's not numbered. And insert of Alvin Kamara. And Williams, rookie card. Two more packs in the Mega Box. All right. So basically, you get two parallels, it seems like, per box or per pack. Danny Gray, Derek Stingleton Jr., another rookie, Kenny Pickett. All right. So we got all three of the main rookies, I think, that you chase after a little bit. There's Chris Olave there. That's nice. We'll put him right there. Jared Koff looks pretty cool. Barkley and Justin Fields. Last pack. See what we got. I think. I mean, I think the Mega Box is winning person so far. I don't know. George Kalafas, Ricky, Hertz, D Swift. This is a number card here, I think. Ooh, maybe not. I don't think. I think it's hollow. Just Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett. Yeah, that's just a hollow prism. That is nice. Nice Kenny Pickett right there. That is premier level, so middle level. That'll be hard to GM, man. Look how centering this is just possible on this thing to just go south, it seems like. Very hard to grade card, I bet. And our last parallel is Allen Robinson Jr. And we got a Traylon Burke, so that's not bad. And Wandell Robinson. What do we got down here? They don't hurt and everything. So, I think that we're basically, if you look at it, just the hits, or I considered hits, basically, I think the Mega Box pulled it out right there, especially with that last pack. Um, this is what the Mega Box has to offer a little bit. You got a nice little Lamb Jack right there, parallel. Kenny Pickett base, Traylon Burks, um, certified. I think that's what they call it. You got a Sam Howell rookie. Desmond Ritter, Kenny Pickett right there, Chris Olave, and Brian Robinson Jr. I think probably the hit 
is probably going to be this right here. And that's our silver Kenny Pickett. And it actually looks pretty good centered. It's just hard to tell. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But do thanks to everybody for stopping in and looking at the comparisons. Which one did you think won? Do you think it was the Mega Box? I think that Desmond Ritter is going to actually hold value in this thing. I don't know. Or is it better off getting what you got there out of the Mega Box? I think either one you're probably looking at what parallels you like. Just a little bit more risky with the Mega Box because you get less cards. You get a little bit more parallels though to hit on. So, Thanks everybody for tuning in. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Really would appreciate, appreciate it. And y'all keep on ripping. Clark Sports Cards out.